thousand pounds. And you've got to say, so far, so good. He's got seven rivals, Old Vic, in his bid for the French Irish Derby double. Galliero, written by John Reed. Glowing Star, written by Christy Roach. Eildon Niski for Britain, Pat Edry. Observation Post, Willie Carson. Old Vic is, of course, written by Steve Cawthon. Phantom Breeze for Ireland, Michael Canaan. The Blinkered Runner, Strom Drum, written by Stephen Crane. Ziani is written by Walter Swenburne. The going is good. The, the jockeys have written on it say that it's perfect. And so far, there's been very little effect, so there's been very little drift. Ildan Iski, Pat Edery's mount, uh, also trained in Britain, is second best at 9 to 2. Then it's 10 to 1, Ziani, the Ascot runner up to Kokothes. 11 to 1, Observation Post, so the British horses in the first four places in the bedding. Then it's 20 to 1, Phantom Breeze. 33 to 1, Glowing Star. 100 to 1, Galliero. And 250 to 1, the rank outsider, Stone Drum always favoured yielding ground hitherto in his career. This is Glowing Star, the mount of Christy Roach, and here once again is Peter. Yes, Christy Roach, the four times uh, Irish champion, yeah. Kirtlington Stud, ridden by Dublin-born Pat Edery, Old Vic still 11 to 4 on him. Here goes the last hole. Yeah. And they're ready. Closely grouped early on with Ildaniski going on. Ildaniski from Old Vic going up on his outside. Then comes Glowing Star. And it's Old Vic and Ildaniski who've opened up a gap of about three lengths now from Glowing Star. Then behind them comes Zayani and Phantom Breeze, an observation post on the inner, Galliero, Stone Drums the back marker, and now Old Vic has gone striding on past the ten furlong pole by two and a half from Ildaniski who's three up on Ziani then comes Glowing Star and Observation Post and Phantom Breeze Galliero and finally Stone Drum racing to the eight furlong marker and as they do so Old Vic by two from Ildaniski another two up on Zayani, then comes Observation Post on the inside of Glowing Star, Galliero next, Phantom Breeze and Stone Drum the back marker. Still Old Vic and Steve Cawthon from Pat Edery on Ildaniski as they race towards the six furlong marker in the Budweiser Irish Derby. Old Vic the odds on favourite by two from Ildaniski by two and a half from Zayani by a length and a half now from Observation Post two then to Glowing Star, Phantom Breeze, Galliero and Stone Drum racing towards the five furlong marker Old Vic from Ildaniski in third is Zayani, four is Observation Post, a gap then to Glowing Star. Inside the final five, racing towards the half-mile marker now. Ovic, who's still galloping with great freedom in front from Ildaniski, going well still in second. Zayani's moving sweetly in third, Observation Post in fourth. Gap then to Glowing Star, then comes Phantom Breeze. Into the straight now with three furlongs to run, and Ovic. The leader still from Ildaniski going to try and challenge on his outside. It's still Steve Corthen from Pat Edery. Then comes Zayani Ulvik from Ildaniski as they race down into the towards the final furlong. Ulvik from Ildaniski making ground on the far side. His observation post Zayani's under pressure. Glowing stars making ground, but Ulvik looks to have them inside the final furlong. It's Ulvik and Steve Corthen being pressed now by observation post, but not being pressed very hard. Old Vic is going to win it smoothly at the line. Old Vic is the winner. Observation post second. Ildaniski third. Four comes Phantom Breeze. Glowing star next. Disappointing. Zayani was sixth. Seventh for Stone Drum. And eight and last. The best turned out horse. Galliero. And so the result of the 1989 Budweiser Irish Derby is first. Number five. Old Vic owned by Shane.